Hello everyone, I'm Dana Jean Antonelli, Manners and Etiquette Consultant. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I talk about manners, etiquette, and anything that can help you become the best version of yourself through those practices. Now, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I am elated to know that you have found my previous videos fascinating enough to come back for more. Now, for today's video, we are going to cover social media etiquette. Now, social media has become an integral part of our lives. It is not going anywhere. We have phones, we have laptops, we have iPads, we have cameras everywhere, but you know, with all this connectivity comes a responsibility to adhere to proper social media etiquette. And I've got you covered. We're gonna cover five do's and don'ts. Let's start with the do's. Number one, be polite. Always use polite language when you're engaging with your audience or commenting on a post. For example, if I were to comment on a stranger's post and I really love her jacket, what I have been doing lately is saying, hello, I love this jacket. May I ask where you got it from? Instead of just typing, oh my God, I love this jacket. Where'd you get it from? Now the difference is the formality of it. You don't know this person, so you want to just keep it formal and polite. Now, if it were my friend, I would just say, hey, I love this jacket. Where'd you get it from? Oh my gosh. See the difference? Number two, think before you post. Now, everything that you post on the internet nowadays will stay on the internet. So you wanna definitely think about what you're putting out there. Now what I've been doing is every time I would think about posting something, I would always think about my dad and if he would think it's appropriate or not. Now, if he would think it's appropriate, then I will post it. If not, delete it. Number three, engage with others. Now this will help you build a relationship if you're engaging with other people on social media. To be honest, a lot of my friends now I have met on Instagram. You know, we first started off just commenting on each other's photos. And then if they live locally, we started meeting up, coffee dates, lunch. And over time, we just built that relationship. And I have to say, a lot of my dear friends are from social media. So it's a great way to make friends too. Number four, be authentic. There's nothing more important than being yourself. Everyone and anyone can sense fakeness or if you're trying hard. And I've definitely, you know, experienced that through people that I've followed. Just be yourself. It's as simple as that. And number five, give credit. If you were to use someone else's photo, just make sure you credit them. I actually, uh, I have to tell you this story. I had posted a photo of myself with a coffee at this coffee shop and they obviously must have liked the photo that they started using the photo in their marketing. And I just found out randomly when I walked by the coffee shop and there was a photo of my photo on the door and I was like, what the heck is this? So <laughs> I had given them a call and, you know, we sorted it all out. But please give credit or credit is due. Now let's talk about don'ts, things that you should not do on social media. Number one, engage in cyberbullying. Now cyberbullying is disrespectful, it's mean, and it honestly can also harm someone and you don't even know it. Think about it this way. If you were engaging with someone in real life, you wouldn't say the things that you would say on social media, right? So what makes you think it's okay to say those awful things on the internet? Is it because you feel protected behind the screen or behind your phone? It's just the same thing. So just think of it as if you were to say this in real life, would you really say it? I don't think so. Number two, overshare personal information. Now this is important because you never know who is following you. It could be a dangerous person. They might start eventually stalking you. So you don't wanna give away home address or your personal phone number. 
I think email is okay, but just be mindful of what you're sharing out there. You know, I like to post things that I'm doing around the city. We're here in Boston, Massachusetts. It's a lovely place, so many things to do. But what I would typically do is instead of posting right on the spot, I would post as soon as we leave, just in case of any stalkers lying around. Number three, sharing fake news. You don't want to share fake news because it can be harmful to others and it can contribute to misinformation. Make sure that whatever you're posting is credible and you have fact checked it. Number four, spam others. Now I'm not talking about spam meat from Hawaii, but just constantly bombarding people with all of these posts that you have going on. Now, I know a lot of people who use social media as their way to make a living, but I've honestly had followed people who are constantly just posting ads after ads. This is a sponsored post, literally on every single post that they post. And I get it, right? You're trying to make money, but it was too much that I, had to unfollow them. Now this goes back to one of our dues, being authentic. Now if you're just constantly posting ads and paid content, it's not authentic. It's not really you, you're just in it for the money. So just be mindful of how much paid content you are posting. Number five, overusing hashtags. Now believe it or not, hashtags are actually kind of going away. I would limit your hashtags to three to four hashtags. Now, I know it used to be the best way to be discovered, but no longer. I know Instagram is moving away from it. It can also be annoying. You know, you're reading someone's description box and then down below it's like 20 hashtags and it's just, it's distracting too. So just make sure to limit your hashtags to three to four. And there you have it, do's and don'ts of social media etiquette that can help you make the most of your social media experience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching.